Hi everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and this project I'm really excited about because we all have that fabric you hate to cut. It's so beautiful you hate to cut. And so let's take a look at this quilt behind me. So this quilt, the only block you make is this block right here. These are all straight 10 inch squares. We haven't cut them, we haven't done anything to them. We're just making this block that chains in between the other blocks. And I've done it with strip piecing so it's so quick and easy. So to make this quilt, you're gonna need one package of 10 inch squares and make them pretty, because they're gonna show. We used uh, Rue 1800 by Three Sisters from Moda, and they always have those great, gorgeous florals in their uh, fabrics. Then um, you're gonna need this background fabric right here. And for this background fabric, you're gonna need three and three quarters of light, and that includes the inner border as well. The accent fabric, which ours is this red right here, you're going to need uh, one and a half yards of that. Now our border is a nice big six inch border, one and three quarter yards, and you can, this quilt is so big. So let me just explain. When you put, uh, these are both 10 inch squares. So I made the layer cake fit exactly to the other square. And when you put two, it's like putting two layer cakes together. When you do, you get like a queen size quilt. So this quilt is like a hundred and a half and by a hundred and a half. So we had to fold it under to film. So here's the border way back here. Isn't that beautiful border with that big floral? And then the back of this also is a floral. Now for the back for a hundred, for a hundred quilt, you're going to need nine and a quarter yards if you use 45. Now, if you use 108, um, backing, you'll need three and a quarter yards. So that make, that sounds a little more doable, but it is a big quilt. And so if you need a big quilt quick and you have fabric you don't want to cut, this is the quilt for you. So let me show you how to do this because this is really fun. The only block we're making is this block that goes right in the middle and it's all strip sets. So our first center block is going to be a four inch block and we are going to put two inches on the either side. Now these these are a little bit different sizes than we usually deal with because usually we're dealing with pre-cuts. But I wanted this block to actually match up exactly to the layer cake. So uh, to get it to be 10, we had to fuss with our sizes a little bit. So this is two inches right here, two inch outer strips, and then um, a four inch block in the center. And I'm just gonna clean up this side. And since this is my center, I'm gonna go over and cut four inches like this. So this is the middle of my block. Now you're gonna make three strip sets. One is gonna be this center one. Four inches in the center, two inch strips on either side. The next strip you're gonna make is gonna be four inches of white in the center and two red two and a half inch strips. Let me show you how that's gonna look. So we've got this um, four inch white strip right here and I'm just gonna, off my background fabric, I'm gonna cut two inches, a two inch strip and I know, you know, for most of us, it's like we're always using two and a half, two and a half. And I'm just going to make a short one of these so that um, you guys can see how I do this. So you're, you'll want to do the whole long strip because you'll need them. But I'm going to like shorten mine and do two on either side just to show you how it goes together. So basically, you're going to attach one strip set to either side of your four inch middle. And I'm going to do that really quick right here. So I'm just laying this on here, matching up my quarter inch. I'm gonna pull these two out here, make sure that they're lined up along the edge and then I can sail down the side. Make sure I'm still lined up and I am. All right, now we're gonna come around to the other side. We're gonna sew that one on. So one two inch strip on either side of the four, that's, that's your first two strip sets. All right, gotta line this back up. All right, now let's press this open. So I'm just gonna lay my my one side, I'm going to roll it back like this. And I like to actually do one side at a time. So I'm going to, I'm going to roll this one back. And then this one over here, I'm going to roll back, but I'm going to make sure my seam is laying to the dark side. And this is how you're going to make a strip set. So this is the first, this is your center one. 
Then this is the first one. Now these are all going to be cut two inches, just like the edge. So I'm going to straighten this up right here. I'm going to straighten. This will be just my straightening piece. And then I'm just going to come over two inches like this. And I'm going to cut two of these for each block. So then what we're going to do here is we're going to take our center that we just did and we're going to put these on either side. And do you see how that's going to come together so quick? So let's stitch this first round and then we're going to add one more round to it. Alrighty, let me just make sure these match up. I like to nest these corners. You want to make sure your, your corners match up. All right, so now let's go to the ironing board and press this back. And this is our first round done. Now for the second round, we're going to need to put two seven inch strips on either side like this. But then our last strip is also a strip set. So then you have a seven inch piece in the middle, same two inch red strips on either side. And it's going to make our block like this. So let me just sew these together. I'm going to sew the plain strips on first, seven inches by two, two inches by seven. And then we're going to sew that down. And then flip it around to the other side. Now the other cool thing is that because you've ironed your strip set open, those pieces are all are already ironed and, and laying nice and flat. All right, so I'm just going to kind of finger press these back like this and I'm going to add that last piece on here. And I just think this is such a cool idea because you can use any layer cake and it will automatically chain across the quilt. All right, let me get, make sure that's lined up. And one more over here. All righty. And that's it, you guys. This is that whole block. And this is what you get. Isn't that darling? And this block makes the whole quilt. So here's how it fits in here, just like this. And you can see that when you put these right next to each other with a square in between, it's going to chain throughout the whole quilt. This really sets your fabric off and makes it look beautiful. So this quilt is nine across by nine down, 81 blocks. And it just goes together so fun. I love that it's all strip sets. And we're calling it the Irish change because it's a little bit of a twist on an Irish chain. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.